Have you processed any of the images? Uh, I've, I've looked at some of the, the, um, the photos. I've, I haven't done video on it yet. Okay. This is the first time I've even, you know, played with it at all. Mm. Is it EOS, EOS or EDS? Hmm? EOS. EOS. Because if it was EDS, it would be like Ed Camera. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah okay, so John and I wrote a book and it got released back in May 2010. And when I was here last week, I asked Brian if he still had any more, because for a while he was he had them behind the cash register and he was trying to sell them to pretty much anybody that came in the restaurant. And then he said he was down to two, and he didn't want to sell them anymore because he didn't want to run out. So I'm like, oh, I'll bring you a couple more. So here I am this week, and I have him a, co a couple more. There you go, Brian. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> You want to make the money, right? You make the money or not. See, and this is a couple of talking. Not this couple. You know why? Last week, CBC TV come here uh -huh. to interview us with the group. The uh -huh. CBC uh -huh. News. Uh -huh. About the, how to make the two money. Two? Oh, really? This yeah. one, only $15 for you. Ah! Uh -huh. That, no, no, the price right here. Okay. See? Yeah. We we like the tax. Save the tax. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, save tax. Do you want? Know we John eat my brother. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> we are the world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Huh. So, so Michael, did you watch the game last night? I did, unfortunately. Did they lose again? Yes. I know, right? You know what What makes me mad? People are, are blaming Luongo for this no. when he's clearly the best player on the yes. team right now. It's, it's, it's too bad for Luongo, but yeah, like you were saying, I'm pretty sure Schneider's going to get Yeah, Schneider's coming in on games. Like it's, 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 it's unfair to Luongo, but it's... Yeah. But that's the way it is. You got to shake up the team somehow, and wow. he's he's got to suck it up and be a pro about it. So they lost the well, second game already. Yeah. Yeah, we're down two games to none. But you know what? They decided like, to play three minutes instead of two. Yeah. Like the first like two or three minutes were amazing. Like, yeah. You can tell that they had high energy. No kidding. And then just kind of fizzled. And then everything just. Oh, it, it was. Possible they might get out in the first round. It, well, anything's possible in the playoffs. Like, there's there's no such thing as a sure thing, right? In, especially in hockey. They, they we, knew, were kind of we knew going in that the Kings were going to be scary. Because they, like, they, they keep saying, they're an eight seed that thinks they can win. And mm -hmm. they can't. Right? Like, they're better than their than the seed says they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But my and the Canucks aren't as good as the first seed says. They yeah, are. exactly. But you know what the thing because is? We're playing Calgary and Edmonton. Not only were we missing like our best goal scorer, but we're also we've been in this this funk for a long time. Whereas LA has been playing playoff hockey yeah. for like at least a month, so yeah. they're just a bit more ready. Well, because then like, yeah. but you know what? The Bruins lost two games last year against Montreal and against us, and they came back. So yeah, I know. I know, but you gotta give me something. You can always find a stat to support what you want to say. Stats don't lie. You can lie with stats. Yep, <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. Yes. <laughs> you get them good. Okay, Michael. Uh, I'll go P8 this but, but Mary, did you see the spring rolls with the spring rolls? Yeah. He yeah. always had P6, that's why I know. Not, <laughs> well, not <laughs> last few <laughs> times, not always. But yeah. Almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> I used to have uh, different ones, like P4, maybe. I think we all have our own custom dishes. Like, I always get P1, no tender, more tripe. I usually get but I usually It's just like she's new and she doesn't yeah. know, right? She's not that new. Well, not anymore, but she's not as familiar with me as the other uh, as the other waitress. Yeah. 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 yeah, but the other girl, we didn't have to say anything. We just look at yeah. her and smile. And she's she like, already yep, knows already know. <laughs> <laughs> Ed was talking about how he has a oh, raccoon, problem. raccoon problem, and I throw you know random small objects at them to make them shut up sometimes, mm -hmm. and because they make a lot of noise at night, and if I hear them out the window, they're waking me up, so I just huck something at them. Oh, we're interrupted with that awesome food right now. Yeah. I didn't know the one. Oh, I got one. Yeah. Did, did, did you no, I didn't. You didn't get one. Okay, let's go find it. Okay, so back to our story. <laughs> Right. So uh, I was saying that I, I I toss random small objects at raccoons at night just to make them be quiet. And 
what Michael thinks is that by doing so, I'm accelerating the evolution process because I have created raccoons that aren't dumb enough to eat those batteries or get hit by them or anything like that. So, so those are the ones that survive are the, ones the, are the super create, raccoons, the super right? Raccoons, and then each successive generation is that much smarter. Yeah. So wouldn't it stand to reason that if you put like a like if you had like a thousand humans and you put them in a building and you just like throw things at them <laughs> and eventually you're gonna have superhumans. Isn't that what AD is doing to us now? Yeah, they're, no, well, they're, well, they're, they're dumbing us down more than anything. I'm thinking, oh, no, I'm thinking of playing, <laughs> what I'm thinking of more is like not like animal hormones or whatever the heck is going on in society but, but, but wouldn't that be I mean like playing a big game of dodgeball. <laughs> Well, that would be the case in a zombie apocalypse, right? The, the humans that are able to survive the zombie apocalypse. Oh, yeah. Apocalypse. Yeah, the ones that, that know what to do in the hu in the zombie apocalypse are going to be the... It would, it would be like the rednecks that would survive, like Daryl. Yeah, but Daryl's awesome, so I have no other problem with that. Like, city boys like us probably wouldn't do quite as well. In I don't know. I'd be pretty good at the zombie apocalypse. I, we're, we're pretty prepared. I mean, we've talked about this many, many times. So, we are more... The best place to go. Well, I, I've picked a new place, actually. Most Superstore. Because Superstore has a ramp. Oh, yeah. It's easier to defend. You know, and it's got... It, Walmart might not be smart enough to use the ramp. And to be honest, yeah, exactly. Zombies, they don't... Well, we've they've shown that they can walk underwater or anything. We don't know they can walk on an incline. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Maybe they don't know how to lean forward and, like, you know... Maybe they'll just well, fall backwards to, all the time. We'd have to wait for the... No, but then the zombies that are behind them, if they're in a horde... Well, that will take a long time, and we'll be able to shoot those ones up, in the... Up, up the ramp, right? Yeah, I, I don't think that... He wasn't ready. I think so. That's I, I, I'm not sure... This is what we do, man. Uh, Vance. Yeah? <laughs> this is what we do. So, so somehow we went from throwing batteries at raccoons to talking about how to survive. Oh, yeah. Dude, I think that if zombies are in such a horde that they can create a ramp of zombies, then you were screwed to begin with. <laughs> <laughs>this week's gadget of the week is the Canon 5D Mark III. I just got this on Monday, so I have no idea what to say to you. Um, it's a 23 megapixel uh, DSLR full frame. Uh, shoots full 1080p video. Uh, it's compressed though, so, and the HDMI doesn't let you get uncompressed output, but you know. Um, what else? It has dual CF card slots. This lens doesn't come with it. What else do you guys want to know? <laughs> How much does it cost? Oh, this, uh, it retails for $37.99. Ouch. Uh, which, for, you get a lot, but not a lot of, you know, stuff that normal people are going to want, like built-in flash, stuff like that. How would this compare to the Mark II? Um, the Mark II, it's actually not as big of an upgrade over the Mark II as many people are expecting, but the uh, low-light performance is much improved. Uh, there's some new features in the, that make video a little bit more crisp and uh, clear but otherwise uh, there aren't a lot of upgrades there's a larger bigger there's a bigger more pixels screen and there's a uh, how about the battery the battery is exactly the same I'm guessing battery life is probably about the same but um, Which is how long how long depends on what you do I mean if you're gonna shoot video all day I'm sure it's not gonna last as long as shooting pictures all day but on these batteries, I've gotten as much as um, 1,500 shots. You can probably average maybe 800, but if you really, really shoot quickly here, <laughs> I, I don't know what, what, what determines how, how many shots you get, but you do get a lot out of these batteries. And they're not very expensive now. They're about 60 bucks a piece. Also, what's the burst rate? Burst rate is six frames per second, which is not as fast as my old uh, 1D, but it is, it's plenty quick. I mean, if you're... It's not an ideal sport shooting camera, but I think w instead of the burst mode, they concentrated more on the focusing system, which now has a 60 po 61 point uh, AF, and it, it snaps really quickly. Like the, the focus just gets there immediately. So I think that's what they went with rather than putting in a, a quicker like uh, burst mode motor, which is, you know, totally reasonable. So if you want to be one of the you know few people that have one of these cameras so far, then head over to wherever you buy your camera equipment from and haggle them for a deal. I'm sure they can give you one because thirty-seven ninety-nine is a lot to spend on one of these stupid things. That's without the lens. Right? That is without the lens, and that is the gadget of the week.